Hello and welcome. I'm Nafe42, and in this video, I'm just going to talk to you about Nextcloud. Okay, so as you can see on this Nextcloud page, right at the top here, it says Nextcloud 3 Hub is here. Now, I've looked into this very quickly, uh, and as you can see here, they had this uh, event October the 1st, 2022. There's a Nextcloud conference in Berlin. I had no idea, but that's pretty cool. Um, so, what they have done is they've announced Nextcloud Hub 3. And there's a major focus on digital well-being. It introduces a fresh design that gives users more room for personalization and better accessibility, which is pretty cool. So after reading this, they're going to be adding in a load of really awesome features that I've been looking forward to and also that I have been struggling to kind of use some of their own built-in versions of these features uh, with Nextcloud Hub 2 uh, because this is Nextcloud Hub 3. I believe, yeah, next one, yeah, free. So if we look on my one here, as you can see, Netcloud Hub 2, um, it does mention a lot of these things. And also I am using the Nextcloud has on its IT VM. So this is on version 23011. I don't know what the latest version is, but with this, uh, I'm guessing you could probably go into the GitHub, code, uh, code on GitHub and find out what the latest is. So if we go, hmm. So yeah, the latest release was 22 days ago. So I don't think this is actually out just yet, but yeah, this is 20, version 25.0.1, .1, unless this is Hub 3, <laughs> I don't I don't know. Um, but yeah, what the really cool thing about this is, is that it feels from what they're saying on here about Next Hub, uh, Nextcloud Hub 3, is that they've addressed a lot of the issues that we was having in Hub 2. So nice public link view of albums so you can send albums out to people like photo albums and stuff like that because i use photos i don't use photos i don't use photos anymore uh, the google version of um cloud backup for your photos was called photos which allowed you to automatically upload any picture you took on your phone directly to the cloud and now that photo would then be available to view online when you get to your computer all that kind of stuff so what it does instead now is I use Nextcloud and what that does is it uploads a folder when it finds a file in that folder. So that folder is my photos from my phone. It then uploads that into my Nextcloud. So um, I don't know if I'll be able to show you too much of this because obviously it's a very personal part of it, but get out of it. Uh, so we go back to the main, so yeah, if we go into photos here, um, you'll see here's a load of photos from November. <laughs> that I've got and you can go to your folders and then you can choose photos and then it will show you all the different years and stuff. Uh, it automatically aligns it into kind of like um, year and then months. So these would all then populate with all the photos inside of it and you'll be able to see all the cool photos and stuff that you've taken throughout the years. Uh, and that just makes it very useful to uh, when you're going back through looking at these things. Um, it's very nice actually. So on here, Although it works pretty well because I've got a pretty powerful server for it, uh, the the photo loading time on this is has previously been for me pretty slow. But um, with the big server now, it's pretty good. On top of that, uh, Hub Three seems to be talking about uh, a few other things. What was it? So security improvements, which is good because this is running on PHP. PHP being known as not the most secure of languages, but also but a very quick and uh, effective language for creating very good websites. So it's always good to be pushing the security improvements for that. Um, and I, I think PHP is fairly secure anyway, to be honest. I'm not saying this is not secure as a software, but it's, you know, there have been in the time, in, in the past issues with PHP and programming. And usually due to a lack of knowledge, people uh, not encrypting passwords on here because it's so easy to set up a website where you have usernames and passwords uh, and a database that stores them that it's very easy to set that up without um, encryption on the passwords without sorting hashing all that kind of stuff that you can then some people just don't and some big some very big popular websites have done that for a very long time and um, have got away with it um, until they get hacked one day and then every password is out there for you to see so you know, that's that's the risk of that. Um, but that doesn't happen here because I'm sure all, this, all the passwords and stuff inside your own Nextcloud would be sorted and hashed and all that kind of stuff. Um, 
So yeah, photos are seen sticking different works. The two version two releases of this design include AI powered automatic face and object recognition. Now this is big because what this previously what you had to do to get this was to either install a package on here. So you go over here, you go apps, um, and you look at the multimedia, I think. Automated media conversion. Face recognition. So there's a fa there is a face recognition app for NetCloud. I've not used it myself, but I uh, so I can't really comment on how well it works or not, but I don't think it would probably work as well as this new thing that they're talking about. So hopefully, because it's AI powered, it's also automatic face and object. So objects as well, recognition. Maybe it can then be used to uh, automatically geotag or tag different images so that you can then search throughout your uh, library of pictures to find things that you want to try and find. So like bike, you search bike, it will find all these pictures that kind of look like bikes, maybe some that don't, but you know, that's AI. And uh, doing all this on your own home server without any of that data leaving your home server is a really powerful thing. Uh, and some other tools do do that. There are some other ones out there, which I have looked into, uh, and I was going to download and then work alongside um, Nextcloud, but because of this, I've decided not to do that. So, um, I mean, it's always good to learn new packages and all that kind of stuff, but you know, in this sense, if it saves me having to use too many bits of software, I don't like, it's not great to, well, I mean, for me, it's good to learn all these new types of software because, well, I like learning software and I like, using software and testing things out, seeing what's good, what's what's not so good, and all this kind of thing, and then comparing it as well. But in that sense, um, for when I'm all set and done, I don't want to have 20 different solutions for the same thing. I like to have things simple, not in the Mac kind of way simple, but like in a kind of, uh, it's a system that I know simple. <laughs> so if that makes any sense to you, then, you know, I don't know, maybe my mind works in weird ways. Built-in photo uploader, okay, cool. Advanced built-in photo editor with filters and common edit operations. So that'll probably be flip, so you can turn photos around, flip them the, the other way, that kind of stuff. Um, for people who have uploaded photos that are upside down, that kind of thing. Um, and probably to uh, contrast, light, uh, brightness, that kind of stuff, so you can lighten dark images, fix the contrast, fix the hue, that kind of stuff. Um, so that's always good to see, especially because this is now a software, uh, a software that is dealing with that as part of it. It's be it is becoming a full, fully fledged um, Google replacement, which is exactly what I wanted from this 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 package. Nextcloud Talk comes with new features to improve digital well-being, allowing users to start calls and send messages that do not generate notifications. Okay, do, uh, and an automatic do not disturb feature in a chat room. Pasted links can transform into widgets that give a rich view on tasks from deck cards, links to views. Okay, so it is more interconnected with the T with itself. Um, you've got polls, message exploration, granular chat permissions, uh, SIP dial-in improvements. So if you have a phone line that you've connected through the internet, SIP being SIP trunks, that kind of stuff, you can, you can get these phone lines for pretty cheap actually. And it's just a internet connection that connects to something uh, that it calls a phone line and then you can use that as a, a way to call out or a way to call in. I don't know if this will accept those calls but it allows you to dial into the meetings I'm assuming is what that means. With that, Mail 2.0 which I'm very happy about because <laughs> Mail 1 was not very, it's not great, it's not very good at all. I do have it, I will probably have to blur some of this out but this is my live mail so this is what it looks like. Um, I mean, it's kind of slow, it's kind of clunky, um, and I think my main issue with it is because of the amount of times that I've had to reset up Nextcloud, it means that I've had to re-input these things so many times, and it just feels, it, gets, it just gets a, a bit annoying. If I can upgrade, upgrade Nextcloud, not have to reinstall Nextcloud whatsoever, and it all just be set and forget from now, apart from obviously updating itself. I'll be very happy. I'll be very happy with that. And because I'm on the VM, maybe I'll be a version or so behind, but I'm really looking forward to seeing this update when it comes through. So it says a much improved performance and updated user interface with easily accessible quick actions, mail, uh, mail content preview in the uh, sidebar, a streamlined account setup wizard and integrated support for replying to calendar invitations. 
so that's nice. Um, let's see. So not not too much in the sense of things. Maybe they can add something for signatures because I don't think this does have signature support. Because as far as I remember, the other one doesn't have signature support. So it would be good to see that in there finally. Uh, the contacts app will be introducing an organizational chart view. So this is where it kind of goes into the more businessy end of Google stuff to allow organizational charts, that kind of thing. Because you're not going to have that for your family, are you? You're not going to have an org chart. I guess you could use it as like a, maybe like a family tree or something if you really wanted to. Um, but to have that with your contacts might be a bit strange because you, your, your triple great-grandfather doesn't have a phone number or an email address so the contact for it will be a bit pointless to have unless you're just using it to create that i guess but yeah it shows usernames avatar oh that's pretty good avatars job titles um plus the reporting organization so yeah it's just another thing really so these cuts database load oh wow yeah this release once again cuts database load and improves page loads by 25 to 30 percent so that's really good that's really powerful that is because php essentially php and mysql or whatever it is, is running in the background nowadays of historically they can get bogged down quite easily with this kind of stuff security is a key concern for nextcloud users the release comes with improvements to our server side and end-to-end -end encryption technology Server-side encryption reduced data usage by 30% and introduces support for S3 primary storage and group folders. End-to-end -end encryption performance impact reduced by 75% and key management for users was introduced together. System admins can now configure which users and clients are able to use end-to-end. -end. Okay, fine. Work on intelligent features. Um, yeah, cool. Will this release... With this release, we'll have major improvements to mobile and desktop clients, bringing dashboard widgets to them, meaning iOS can now and Android can now use add any number of Nextcloud widgets to their phone screen. For example, recently updated status or changed files, recent chat messages or emails, list of notes. What I would like to see is all of these things that I have had to get previously separate apps for rolled into one. So the app for photos is its own app. Let's have a look. Because there was, I think, four or five different apps. I've got one for Notes. I've got one for Nextcloud. Now, it's good to have the separate Notes one, I will say, because I do like having them separately anyway. There's one for Talk. Uh, there's just Nextcloud. Um, and there's DAVX, which allows you to sync your contacts. Uh, and there previously was one for Cards, which I don't really use anymore. Um, and I'll probably end up getting rid of at some point in the future. But the all these things could be rolled into one app and then used in that one app. Or maybe they shouldn't be. I don't know. It's a hard one because as nice as it is to have everything in one place, it is also quite nice to have the separation of notes from the main app. So maybe, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you think of that. Uh, and also what you think of Nextcloud. This is a great software that I've really enjoyed using over the last couple of years. It's a software that I think um, shows really great progress in terms of de-googlifying de -googlifying yourself uh, and your friends even if they wanted to do use your next cloud um, as long as they don't have access to your own home NAS storage and all this kind of stuff um, or your own documents on that NAS storage I guess you could set up one cloud and then allow all your friends to use that in the same way that they can use Google Drive yeah, Google Drive. Um, and then, you know, you have web storage, this kind of thing, and your backups for your friends and all this kind of thing, which, you know, makes you very useful. <laughs> not that I say, not that you're not useful already, so don't take that as it was uh, maybe sounded. This does say October, October the 1st, 2022. So I am a little bit late with this because that was like last month. Uh, it's nearly the end of this month, and on here it does say... Now available as release candidate, and the final release is expected later this month. So the final release is expected to have been out for a month now. I don't have this release, and I don't know if this release is actually out yet. Um, and I've not actually seen anything that says release out now. But let's have a look on the Get Next Cloud page and see if that says anything about this release. So far, I've been unable to find any more information about where to actually get this release candidate. But... Um, yeah, we'll find out soon, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, that's it for me this time. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and I will see you next time.